Welcome to video 27 in our van build series. Today we're going to install our fresh water tank, water supply line, tank vent, inline water filter, and water pump. The water tank we selected is the ProMaster wheel well water tank from Curious Camper Vans. This tank utilizes that awkward area around your wheel well that often gets wasted. The water pump we chose is the SureFlow 4008. We will share with you why we selected this tank and why this water pump, as well as how we chose to install them. Enough talk, let's get started. So we started this project right at the source, the water source. How are we going to get the water into the tank? We have no intentions of cutting a hole in the van. Instead, to fill our water tank, we will simply open the back door of the van. This meant we had to make a flat surface to house the filler neck and cap. Like many of our projects, I chose to make this part out of aluminum. Frequently, when working with aluminum, I will rivet or clico the pieces to a larger piece of wood to make the part more manageable and add integrity during the manufacturing process. This is a micro-stop countersink cage and cutter designed to flush mount rivets. I have a link to the tool in the description. I'm using a variety of different tools here to manufacture this part. I think this is a case where a picture is worth a thousand words. I'm essentially piecing together a light, rigid surface that I can mount our water inlet assembly to. With the part finished, I'll rivet it to the bottom of our rear bed rail. This will put it at the perfect height for filling the tank and super convenient to access when you open the rear door of the van. Moving on to plumbing. When I purchased the water tank, I also purchased the fittings package. Here I am applying plumber's tape to the plastic fittings. To secure the tank, I've chosen to use 1 and 3 8 steel slotted flat galvanized metal, strong and easily bent to meet our needs. With the first of three bends complete, I can now mark the anchor holes on the plywood wall. I then removed the wall and installed 5 16 T nuts on the back side of the plywood. This will ensure that the tank can be removed at any time for service. Here the wall is back installed and the two 36 inch long slotted galvanized metal strips are beginning to take shape. Back to the bending brake for our second and third bends. Just like the mounting to the wall, I want to be able to bolt the tank to the floor. Here I have glued two pieces of half inch Baltic birch together to make a one inch solid piece. I'm now drilling into the underside of the piece to countersink two floor mounted 5 16 T nuts. Since these blocks will be floor mounted, I wanted to smooth over the top edge to reduce the chance of injury if you bump into them. A day later, with the pieces painted, I'm using PL construction adhesive as well as two one and a half inch wood screws to secure the block to the floor. All that is left to do is to chop off the excess metal to cut the two straps to final size. To protect the tank from the securing metal straps, I'll be using Camper Seal Multipurpose Foam Tape. This is exactly the same material you would use on your pickup to protect the paint while mounting a canopy.
Well, I have the water tank and supply installed. I'll work on the water pump next, but I'm gonna show you where we are right now. As you can see, the tank is mounted. It's a 22 gallon tank. I'll flip around the backside. I think this is quite well designed. Off the back of the tank, we have our drain right at the bottom. So in the, uh, in the winter, we just uh, open that up and uh, drain it out. For that purpose, I'd probably in the fall just quickly thread in a little extension like this. And then you can uh, drain the tank and uh, it'll just be pouring straight out the back of the van. What I like about this is uh, at no time are you uh, perforating the side of the van. Uh, we're using, just open the back door and you can uh, drain the tank. Okay, here's the fill right here. There's a, a vent line connection uh, right here, which I'm not using. I'll show you what I'm doing. You look over the top here, you can see that the uh, water line just goes straight into the top of the tank. And uh, the vent line that I do not have uh, connected here, I'm connecting right here. And I'm going straight in the back of the uh, Ram ProMaster. And I'll show you where that line's coming out. We're right underneath the van here now. And here it is. So there's your vent line just in behind the bumper there. Uh, which means that uh, any sloshing or anything at all, the water will be coming outside the vehicle rather than uh, inside the van. And the last thing I haven't showed you is the, uh, the water pickup. And that's uh, right down at the bottom here. It'll come up and it'll head over to the pump, which will be located at the front of the vehicle. I haven't installed that yet. So three connection, drain, water supply, vent, of course, the, the fill, and this last one I've just plugged. So we're looking for leaks here. Nothing so far. The van is sitting this way down a little bit, is it? Yep. There, it's coming out the vent. So it's going pouring it straight outside, which is perfect. I'll go shut it off. So that is the overflow for the van and it's working tickety-boo. So the tank is completely full. I'm going to leave it full for a while, a couple days, see if we have any leaks. The pump we chose was the SureFlow 4008. It is a 12 volt RV water pump that will move three gallons per minute. I also purchased the SureFlow 255 inline strainer and the SureFlow 949101 pump silencing kit. Links to all of these parts are in the description. Well, before I connect the pump, let's do one final check on the wiring. All right, let's take a look here. Water pump, it's this one, okay. And turn it on. And that is 12 volts. So this is working. All right, let's hook up the pump. I've never done this before. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm literally going to turn this water pump on for the first time. Here goes. <laughs> Quiet! It's also leaking. Where's it leaking? Oh no, it's not. It's splashing. It's not leaking. Oh, is that ever quiet? This is how noisy this is, or quiet. I'm super impressed. And it looks to be moving some water. Here I'm just working on the water supply fittings that are needed for underneath the sink. This is a different size. It's not supposed to be. That's not going to fit. Oh shit. Well, maybe I'll get it on there. Okay. All right. That's perfect. 
Okay, so we have a tight seal there. Okay, we're gonna pressurize the system here. I'm just using some uh, alligator clips right now to uh, connect power, but the uh, water line itself is completely connected and uh, right over to the sink. So let's see where it leaks. My bet is it'll leak. Okay, there's one. Okay, which one's that? This one's leaking right here. This one's leaking? And this one's leaking? Lovely. Okay, what's the deal? Don't use this one. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. They look similar. They look pretty well exactly the same. What's this one? Pex brand. Okay, and this one? Mm, no name? No name. All right. This one leaks? Like a sieve. <laughs> and this one? Doesn't leak it at all. Awesome. Well, here goes take two. Honest, I'm not nervous. This one leaked right there. Where, whereabouts? At the... Right, right here? Yeah. So we can put some tape on this one. But these are holding. And... Okay, let's see. Does this work or what? Uh, this valve must be closed. Let's open it up. Okay, that's open. Okay, let's check this now. Oh, I can't believe it. I think we're almost there. I think the trick would be... The trick would be, let's leave it pressurized for a little bit. Actually, no, let's fix this leak here first. Yeah. I'll just put a little bit of tape on this one. And we'll also dry things up. Right now the system's pressurized, I'm gonna turn it off. So look at this brilliant idea of Linda's. We just had some, uh, it's actually for this, I guess. It's a uh, pipe uh, insulation, but uh, well, I'll talk about a vibration dampener as well. Um, I was looking for some way of mounting this, but I think I'm just going to use this. I might have one strap or something like that, but here, I'll run it now. Um, look how quiet that is. So I'm going to uh, just do a couple little ties down at this end, maybe just one there and I'll clean up a little bit over here and then I'll run the wiring across the channel as well and down to the uh, to the pump and that's the end of our water supply that's pretty fairly strong 60 watts four and a half amps Well, this wraps up our water supply. I'm going to tackle our diesel heater next. Hey, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.